God. Give it up for the brother, man. The brother spoke mighty in the spirit. The brother spoke very mighty in the spirit, man. I'll pray to the most high. Right? Who are we? We the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in, week out to let you Hebrews, to let you so-called blast the Spanish and Native Americans know that you're God chosen people. Right? And to deliver the good news to the captives and the oppressed. Who are more oppressed than the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man? Well, we got some good news for you. Right? We got good news for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? We got some good news. Right? Somebody give me um, Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. Somebody give me uh, First Chronicles chapter 8. Uh, first Corinthians chapter 8 verse 13. Give me that Matthew first. Because that's the good news we have. That's the good news we have for these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Of Negro to, uh, Negro Indian descent. Indian Negro descent, right? And we are here for our people. Our people only, right? To bring you out of this madness they call America. America will be destroyed. That's right. Right? If you knew something was going to be destroyed, brother, right? Wouldn't you want to leave that place? If I told you right now, right, that a missile was about to hit Greenwood Avenue, oh, man. Greenwood Avenue would clear out. Right. So we are here to tell our people you must repent and come out of America, That's what? come yeah. out of her ways, come out of her philosophies, yeah. come out of her doctrines, right? Now they're giving you Pride Month. Right. Let's talk about that for a second. Oh, yeah. They give you a whole month. This place is wicked. This is modern day Sodom and modern day Gomorrah. Right, America is wicked as hell, man. Right, but let me tell you why we out here on these street corners for. Read that, King. It's the book of Matthew, chapter four, verse seventeen. For that time, Yahweh Shah began to speak, preach, and to say, "Repent." Do what? Repent. What we tell you to do? Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hey, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right? But all our people want to do is ride up and down Glenwood Avenue, getting high, right? Go to these bars, shake their ass, spend your money. Right. That's all our people want to do, right? To her fake holidays, right? They give you Juneteenth. You still a slave. How are you free on Juneteenth? And you still a slave. Still got to go to work. Miss two weeks of work you want to, right? And I guarantee you'll be in the hole. Right? We still slaves. Right. How are we free? What's going on, brother? You'll be an Israelite, brother, going to the Bible, That's brother. Right. You gotta repent, keep the commandments of the most high God, brother. Right. right? You got that precept here? Read that. Hey, 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 brother, you got a minute for the word, brother? Do you know who you are? Right? What's your nationality? Right. Now what color are you? Brown, brown there you go. Oh, hey, I caught you. All praises, brother. Y'all like be that. safe, man. Be safe, brother. Right? Hey, hey, and, and that's and, and if they had any sense, right? They know that we brown people. That's right. We different shades of brown. Uh, right? Just to get out. You got a Roman shirt, you can't make this up. Okay, man. He got the Roman shirt on. You gotta, you gotta separate from your oppressor, sister. Oh, right? He raped your uh, forefather, man. Right? And we walk with our oppressor, man. Right? We walk right up and down the street with our oppressor. Because we don't know any better. Right? Break them brother, up. All praises, man. We gotta repent, man. That's right. it. We gotta repent early. We gotta repent early. Uh, and brother, you'll be an Israelite, brother. Uh, right? Uh, you'll be an Israelite. Give me uh, <laughs> Give me second uh give me second address eight uh sixty-nine about the shot. Read that. This is the book of Second Corinthians. Chapter 13 and verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. But what? But for the truth. But what? But for the truth. But for the truth. That's right. That's what we tell our people. Right. Yes, we are not under the law, but we are saved by grace by the law. Right. Right? Right. Because give me uh give me uh give me Psalms, Baba Kisha. Give me Psalms 19 and 7. Right? But we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth right let me show you what this truth is give me that out of uh read that read that second chapter 8 verse 64 
Andrews, bottom of the shot, slap. First Andrews, 86 to the rebound. This is the book of songs, chapter 19, and verse 7. Right the law of the Lord right. is perfect, right. converting the soul. The law of the Lord is perfect, right? How is the law done away with? What's going on, y'all kings? Y'all know who y'all are going to the Bible? Let's talk like men. What color are you, brother? We've seen that brother before. What color is it? Black? You black, brother? Y'all y'all some y'all some black boys? Right? Y'all just black boys? Right? You black? Bro, this, got on, this got on got twisted in 20 minutes. This brother, this brother just got out of his Jeep and was sober. Now he messing with the Edomites and Kushites, man. You can't make this up. That was him, yeah. Edomites, Edomites and Kushites. And they don't got that Kushite drunk. They think he black. Right. They think he black. Like, yeah, we got a cool black friend. Right? No, all skin folk ain't kin folk. Right? All skin folk ain't kin folk. Right? We are Shemitic. They are Hamitic. They are the Hamites, man. We are from Shem. Right, we are Semitic. We are, we are Semitic, man. Right, Nick Cannon wasn't lying. Nick Cannon just had to retract his statement. Right, he saw in the flesh. What's going on? You believe in the Bible? How Jesus look? We are here to teach. We are here teaching people about Jesus. Right, you love Jesus. Right, how you love Jesus? He gave us everything. What you got? I ain't got nothing. What you got? What you got? You in a car? You got an apartment? You stay with your parents? What are you about, 18? You 20? You stay with your parents? Okay, all right. Chip and Edomite go to the Bible. That's right. Edomite, you gotta uh, don't repent and just stay wicked. Right? What's going on, buddy? You know you all going to the Bible, brother? You know who you are according to the Bible? You'll be an Israelite, brother. That's right. You'll be a tall Israelite, right? You're one of the tall people, right? The tall men of Israel. Right, right. right? We don't have you guarding the, guarding the doors, right? That brother like seven one, right? But that's how people know. Hey, but the Lord can't do nothing with them in that state, right? He dressed like them. He dressed like damn Cam New. He, he, he about to go to, uh, down to the combine, man. Hey, yo, uh, man, they beat you. you know, hey, what's going on, sisters? Hey, who love Jesus? I do. You love, what's your nationality? Asian? Filipino? Filipino? All right, anybody else love Jesus? How do you love Jesus? Give me, uh, give me first, uh, give me, uh, give me John 2 and 14, first John 2 and 14, first John 2 and 14, right? Two or three, so Bobby shot. Third John, two or three, right? But they say they love Jesus, right? But they're not talking about Yahweh shot. They're talking about Cesare Borgia. And how I know that? Because I know that because this is what the Lord said. Read that. This is the book of First John, chapter two and verse three. Uh -huh. And hereby we know that we know Him, right. and we keep His commandments. So if you love somebody, of course you have to know Him. You just can't say you love somebody. And don't know them, you'll be on, you'll be on the kind of a psychotic side, ah. right? And, and it happens every night. These people don't know one another, right? You can pan the camera around, see all these people, right? They don't know one another, but guess what? They say they love one another. One night stands, one night hookups, right? We love one another. But what did the Lord say? And hereby we do know that we know Him. If we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. That's how you know God. That's how you love the most high. Right? Get go get a uh three uh four five and three by the shot. Four John five and three. Here we go. First John five and three. But this is the love of God. Right? That we keep his commandments. That we, what? That that we, we keep, keep his commandments. commandments. And his commandments are not free. So this is the love of God, right? A lot of you gonna come and find out in them last days right. that you didn't, you never loved God. That's right. Somebody give me uh, Matthew twenty-one yeah. and seven, or is it seven to twenty-one? I think it's twenty-one and seven. Yeah, seven to twenty-one. Bobby the shot, the water, the water. Seven to twenty-one. Hey brother, you know you're the Israelite going to the Bible. You believe in Jesus? 
You love Jesus, brother? Right now, would Jesus approve? That's your wife? You, you think Jesus approved of y'all walking up Glenwood Avenue in yeah. 2023? Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody give me, uh, is it in uh, Exodus? Go back to that first edge. Drop that. Drop that. I'm going to get it in edges. I like, I like it in edges. One in uh, first edges, eight and 68, Baba Kasha. I think it's also in uh, uh, do, uh, uh, Genesis. No, give me, uh, give me, give me Deuteronomy 32 and 8. 32 and 8, right? Read that. First days, 8 and 68. Right. Now, when these days were done, the rulers came unto me, saying, The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests and Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land. Right, so we ain't put away the strange people of the land. You can see it today. Oh, if you're outside of Israel, you a strange people of the land. And you can see all these strangers. Look at all these strangers. They claim they love God and don't even know that today is God's Sabbath day. Right? You didn't know they have clocks and watches and cell phones. How do you tell the time? You told the time when the sun went down. So at the end of the day, the, the day starts and ends simultaneously. But these people hate God and can't, and they ain't put away the strange women and the strange men of the land, right? We, oh, that's evil. What's going on, family? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all got, got time for one verse. If you love God, you would give him one verse. Hey, hey. One verse. All praises, all praises. Right? Nor, nor the pollution of the Gentiles. Right. To wit of the Canaanites, uh -huh. Hittites, the Hittites, Parasites, Africans, right. the Jebusites, right. more Africans, and the Moabites, Egyptians, and Israelites. <laughs> so you got the, you got the, you got the so-called white man, Chinese man. Read the last three for me. Moabites, Egyptians, and Edomites. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. Right? The holy seed, Israel, you holy. Your seed is mixed with the strangers of this land. Right? That movie Jungle Fever did nothing for our people. A white man and a white woman should never be together. Right? We should love our own people. Right? It's not. It's not a. It, that's not natural. Right. It's not natural. Just like a McDonald's, right? A Burger King, Ruth Chris Sullivan. You're not gonna find those things in the kingdom of God. It's not natural. Just like it's not natural for you to be a flaming homosexual. Right? right? We we don't do those things in Israel. We don't do those things in the Holy Land. Where you learn these things at? Babylon the Great, right. AKA America, That's that right. will be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. That's right. You got Russia, China, North Korea, South Korea, got nukes aimed at this place. Ready to do what? I told the one? Push the damn fire. So we got, we waiting on these uh, leaders to push these buttons, man. Right. Hey, Glenwood, let, let me give y'all a news flash. Right. Glenwood Avenue will not exist forever, man. That's right. That's right. right. This place has to go tomorrow. This place has to go yesterday, right? A week ago, this place must go because it teaches nothing but madness, man. It's nothing but folly setting great dignity in this place, man. This is, this is madness, man, right? This is madness. Look at this, right? Look at our people. Look at our people, right? Give me, uh, give me Jeremiah 4 and 22, Baba Gishai. Jeremiah 4 and 22, right? right? Let me show you what the Lord called y'all until we were being reduced to. Give me 7 and 6, King. Let me show you what the Lord called our people and what have we been reduced to for breaking the Lord's commandments. The Lord got us at a very low estate. That's right. Yeah, you may rent a car. You may rent a, a nice home. You may got a good job. Right. You may got a couple dollars in the bank. Right. But guess what? We're still at the bottom of this society. Right. We still at we still at the lowest point because why? We keep breaking God's commandments. That's right. Right? Read that, King. This is the book of Deuteronomy. 
chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people right. unto the Lord thy God. And we used to be holy. Right. right? We used to be set apart. Right? right? We used to be the creme de la creme. Right. All these nations looked up to Israel. Now they don't look at us for nothing. Right? They come to you to, to smoke a blunt. Right. right? To get drunk. To celebrate your nasty Father's Day that the white man gave you. He gave you one day for your children to love y'all. And y'all ran with it. Right? You should love your father every day, man. Every day. Right? The, the white man said, on this day, you so-called Negroes, I'm going to let y'all love, I'm going to let y'all love y'all father. Right? We used to love your father every day. And we don't celebrate Father's Day, man. Right? Father's Day is every day. And we don't give a damn about Juneteenth. Get in the room for one. You think you're free. How you free? How you free, Israel? How you free on Juneteenth? And they gave you that nasty Juneteenth and said, shut your ass up. Right? And y'all ain't it up. Y'all ain't it up, man. Right? We are still in our captivity, man. You still paying taxes. You still get shot down. Your family members are still dying. You still going to the hospital. You still sick. Right? How are you? How, how are we free? Right? Ask his hand. He's a Sicilian. Sicilian? Sicilian. So he's a, uh, you're a Jeff fight. Right? You're not an Israelite, brother. You're a Jeff fight. Right? Yeah. You know what a Jeff, you know what a Jeff fight is? From no. Jaffa. Right? Your forefather, that's, that's his name, Jaffa. That's your forefather. Right? You know Noah? You know Noah? How about Shem? Nope. Him? Never heard of him. You ever read the Bible before? Right? Nice. Right? I hope they go to. <sighs> hey, hey, hey! When the Lord bring that true, that true fire, hey, no ambulance service is coming. The fire department is not coming. The police department is not coming in that day. You already see the police department, they don't patrol no more. They let you do what the hell you want to do. Right. And I will let them niggas kill each other. That's right. right? All downtown. Pool Road. That's, right. That's where the police department you find at, man. Right. right? You're not going to find the police department in North Harlem. Wayfield Plantation. You're not going to find the police department over there. Right. Right. They in your neighborhood, so-called Negro, so-called Hispanic. Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 11. Have they nation changed their God? Right. Which are yet no gods? Have a nation changed their God? Y'all changed your God. Y'all still serving that white boy. Right. Named Cesare Borgia. Right. right? He was the son of Pope Alexander VI. Right. Even this guy may know that the image of Christ right. that they use in these churches is not the correct image right. that they have in the Bible. Isn't that called a contradictory? Isn't that a lie? That the so-called white man have perpetuated for thousands and thousands of years to tell you that Christ is a so-called white man with blue eyes. And if you read Book of Revelation, it's saying otherwise. Right? Isn't that a contradictory? But yet you eat it up. And this is why we break the Lord's Sabbath day. Because we believe in a white Jesus. You believe a white boy is gonna crack the skies and come to save you. If a white boy cracked them skies and coming to save you, you going back into captivity, Israel. Right? Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3 of verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. No, we free. We are yet this day in our captivity. No, we don't have to be slaves. We are yet this day in our captivity. Read. Where thou hast scattered us. Well, where? Where thou hast scattered us. Hey, we are scattered to the four corners of the earth. Right. Like the Israelites. The Israelites are scattered to the four corners of the earth. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You will be the Israelites. Whether you like it, accept it, believe it or not, hey, it is what it is. Take it up with the Lord. Take it up with the Lord. And the Lord said you cannot break his Sabbath day. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. We're headed, and this is love, man. Right? This is love. Right? We tell our people you cannot break the Lord's Sabbath day. This is love. You cannot buy and sell Friday sundown until Saturday sundown. That is love. If you do, you hate God. If you go to the club tonight and you buy a drink or you pay for admissions, you hate God. If you smoke a vape or cigarettes, you hate God, right? Because God said you can't smoke, you're in the temple, right? What if somebody threw a smoke bomb in your house every three years? How you, I mean, three, uh, three minutes. How you gonna live in your house? 
That's the same thing that God said you cannot smoke because you are the temple of God. Read that, King. We are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach uh -huh. and a curse. And a what? And a curse. We still not in the curses. You so called blast and Spanish, y'all are cursed. Curse should that be in the city. Curse should that be in the field. Right? You're not free. You mix them all, you mingle them all the other nations. That's right. Right? You mingle them all the Edomites. And they don't even know they're Edomites. Right. Because the, they're they pastor and they are and they are preachers that these Catholic churches teaches them nothing. Right. Absolutely nothing. nothing. You go to church and you leave dumber. That's right. Only thing you learn in church is how to add and subtract from a $20 bill. Right? You put $10 in the first time and play them around, and you put the other $10 the second time and play them around. And that's all you learn in the church. How to subtract $20, $10 from the $20 you put in the plate. And you learn absolutely nothing in church. Church has failed you people. Miserably. Church has failed also the black community. The black and brown community have failed us. Your pastors has failed, the elders has failed, and now look what we're doing. Walking up and down Gary Avenue. Celebrating Father's Day, the right man tell you one day to celebrate your father. Father Day is every day. That's right. And y'all eat it up. Right? They got the Father Day sale, uh, they got the watches 20% off. Right? What father's like? They got the t-shirts and the khakis and the sandals 20% off at the Old Navy and Hollister. Right? I went to Foot Locker earlier, they got 20% off the Jordans. You know who's that? You know who's buying the Jordans for their fathers, right? That's, that's, that's Israel all day, right? Read that, King. This is the book of Esther, chapter, edition of Esther, chapter 14 and verse 6. Right. And now we have sinned before thee. Therefore hast thou given us into the hands of our enemies. Therefore we in the hands of our enemies. Look around. We in the hands of our enemies to this day. You're not free. Wait, who, who gave you that illusion that you'll be free Monday? You're locked up this weekend, but here come Juneteenth. Here come Juneteenth on Monday, and we're going to be free. We locked up this weekend, but not when Juneteenth come, Master said we free. Master, Master said we Negroes are free now. Us, us free now, Master. Us free now, Master. Right? You're not free, man. You're still in captivity. Wait. Because we worship their gods, O oh Lord, thou art righteous. Why are we still in captivity? Because we worship their gods, O oh Lord, thou art righteous. Y'all still worshiping the God of the so-called white right. right? That do not look like you. He has nothing. He has nothing to do for you. He has nothing to offer you. Right. Only thing he coming back, he might be somebody's slave. You see what slave says away what Jim might be. We can leave that up to the Lord. Right? Because I don't know what was going on during that period. But one of the men of Israel, one of the seers, claimed says of Abraham Jill and asked the Lord, I want that devil. I want that devil in my cotton field. Right. Right? So the who you call Jesus, who you call sweet old white Jesus, right. his name is Cesare Borgia. Right. He was the son of Pope Alexander VI. They painted, a, they painted the likeness of him right. over the black Messiah right. from the tribe of Judah, right. from the nation of Israel. Right? That's how Christ looked. Christ is a Negro, dark skinned man with woolly white hair. Right. But the church gives you white Jesus. Right. Oh, Dogley Street hair, blue eyed, white Jesus. Right. Why they give you white Jesus? Because now y'all think he's Jesus. Right. Now y'all gotta look at this guy, and y'all gotta love that guy, and y'all gotta look at this guy, and y'all gotta hate your own brother. Right. That's why they gave you white Jesus with the booty shorts on. Right? That's why they gave you white Jesus. See that they natural homosexuals, man. It's in their DNA. That's why they that's why their birth rate is declining dramatically, man. Right. right. The white man and white woman birth rate is declining at a rapid pace. Right? Because they all homosexuals. Right? Give me Romans 1 and 25. Let's get on. Let's go on this prime month for a little bit. I'm gonna pass to the next mighty speaker. Right. Right, get on this prime month. Give me that, uh, uh, give me uh, Proverbs 16 and 18, Bible the shot. Give me Romans 1 and 25, right? Because America give you a prime month. Drop that, give me, give me, uh, let me let's, hit, let's show all the rainbow is good. Give me Genesis 13 and 9, Bible the shot. Give me Genesis 13. Let me show you why the, why the Lord made a rainbow. He didn't make a rainbow so you can hang them up. 
and represent Prime Money. And you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be careful how you word things on YouTube because YouTube got a lot of prideful owners in the organization as well. And you can catch my uh, drip uh, by the time to run. Right? Let's let's see what let's see what the ball is made for. Read that thing. I do set my pole in the cloud. What the Lord say? I do set my pole in the cloud. Right, the Lord set the bow in the cloud. The white man is so wicked, he went and took the Lord rainbow out the cloud and he gave it to y'all for a witness to be prideful. That's right. Now you got a whole month of, of, of wickedness and, and, and nonsense going on, man. Right? Madness. Madness. A man with a man. Uh, and they promote it uh, and eat it up. Uh, Read that, kid. Uh, I do set my boat in the cloud, and it I, shall be for a token of a covenant stuck. between me and the earth. Right? And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the boat shall be seen in the cloud. Right? And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature. Of all flesh in the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. That's what the rainbow is for. The rainbow, when it rains, the rainbow is a symbol for the Lord will never destroy this place again with water. He'll never flood this place. But let me say what the Lord is coming with for these flaming pride people. Give me uh, Isaiah 66 and 15, Baba Kishan. Right? Because the rainbow is meant to be a sign. For the Lord will never destroy this place again with water. Right. right? That's the only. But they took the Lord Rainbow. Look how wicked these, these people are. They took the Lord Rainbow and made a symbol for homosexuality, for bestiality, for immoral sexual practices. That's your rainbow now. That is your rainbow. And they got them hung up everywhere. Pay the camera, King Sean. Sure. They even got the lights. They, they, you know, you know, Babylon the Great is so wicked. You just can't do a flag no more, right? Yeah, you just can't do a flag no a simple flag. They don't show at night. We gotta light it up. We gotta. What's going on, okay? You be rich tonight. So that is it, okay? Mexican. You're so called Mexican, right? Guatemala, Argentina. We are brother, man. Hermano. Hermano. El Hijo de Dios. El Hijo de Dios. Hermano. Right? That's our brother. They don't know it though. They think we just some niggas. Right. Who them niggas talking to like that? Right? right? But you our brother. We love you, brother. You right? If it jumped off right now, I don't know about Esau. Right. You're not our brother. Hell. You're an Edomite. That's right. right? You're an Edomite. Well, you are our brother, technically. Yeah. Well, technically, he is our brother. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a Hebrew Edomite. Right? <laughs> technically, he is our brother. He's the son of Isaac. Right. That, that, that's Rebecca's son. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're Rebecca's son. We gotta give you gotta give some credit, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord said two men of people shall be separated right. from that blue, from that bounds, right? You got that, you know that? It's the book of Romans, chapter 1, and verse 21. Right. Who changed the truth of God into a lust, right? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator, right? Who is blessed forever or month. Uh -huh. For this cause, God gave them up unto a vow of blessing. Right, so you wanna serve the creature, more than the creator, God gave you up to a vile infection. God said, Im God said immoral sexual practices is a vile infection. God said homosexuality is a vile affection. God said a flaming homosexual is a vile infection. Read. Vile infection. For even their women had changed their natural use until that which is see against nature. And likewise also the men. No. Who? The men. The who? The men. The who? The men. Y'all men, right? In the closet, under the table, whatever they call it these days. Or the in the closet, under the table, or around the corner. Right? Whatever they call it. Read. Leaving the natural use of the woman. They don't even want our beautiful Hispanic and black women no more. So called black women. Right. They don't want. Brother, and we have some beautiful women in Israel. That's right. We have some beautiful, we have the most beautiful women in Israel. Right? 
the Hispanic woman and the so-called Negro woman are the, the standard of beauty. Not Marilyn Monroe, right? Not Marilyn Monroe, with that blonde and that pimple, and that pimple, right? Not Britney Spears. Britney Spears is not the standard of beauty, right? You so-called Negro women and you so-called Hispanic women, Right? Y'all are the definition of beauty according to the Lord. That's Please. right. It says, leaving the natural use of the woman right. burn in their lust. What they do? Burn in their lust. What's homosexuality? Burn in their lust. What's men on men? Burn in their lust. Burning in your lust. Burning in your lust. And I can attest, in some of these nations and countries, y'all can even go there and practice their homosexuality. That's right. They, they want to give you a prior second. You're talking about a prior month. You go to some of the other nations like uh like Iran, Iraq, right? You go to some of the other other nations, they want to give you a prior minute. You say you're a homosexual, a uh, 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 homosexual for one minute, and they'll strain you up and put you to death. That's right. Right? And put you and put you to death. Give me Leviticus 20 and 13. Right? If I'm gonna show you where they got that law from, right? Ishmael, right? That's Abraham's son. Of course the Arabs know the Bible. Right? Of course that that's why they keep the Torah. They don't eat pork. Su on, supposedly. Come on, come on. They don't supposed to smoke cigarettes. That's how wrong um, they know that. Right? The women are covered up. Right? Ishmael got the laws too. Right? Abraham got Ishmael. That's why the Arabs they got a blessing. That's why they got all that oil over there, man. That's a rich nation over there in the Middle East, man. Don't get it twisted, right? Ishmael got a great blessing. Ishmael got billions. The so-called Arabs, they got kings, well, and they got princesses. Damn. Yeah. Israel, yeah. It, they left over with niggas <laughs> and damn, and wannabes. Yeah. And, and damn, Is, Ishmael got the princes and then the kings, man, right? Man. right? And we not, they left us with niggas in America. We used to be kings and princesses, and now we've been reduced, right, to nothing. Wait. It says, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in their lust, one towards another. Men with men. What? Men with men. What the Lord say? Men with men. One more time. Men with men. What's claiming homosexuality? Men with men. The Lord said, burning in their lust. Men with men. And they give y'all 30 days to be men with men. Damn. It's an abomination and a shame, man. Wait. Right? That America promotes nothing but sin. But yet in God they trust. Okay. Let me show you what God said about these men with men on a pride month. Read that, kid. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also learn with mankind, if a man, if you got a rod, and you lie with another man that has a rod? Oh yeah, we bring one to the sin out here. We the prophets and the saints, right? We don't sugarcoat nothing, right? The Lord said, if y'all swore fighting, 12 a.m. in the morning, oh, man. right? Read that again, kid. Leviticus 20 and 13. And say, man, also lie. With mankind, uh -huh. as he lied with women, with women, as he's supposed to lie with a woman, right? Read. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. The Lord says they, they shall, shall surely, surely be put, put to death. death. Or they're gonna live. They, they shall, shall surely, surely be put, put to death. death. They're gonna love one another. They, they shall, shall surely be put to death. Hey, the Lord said, if you a man lying with another man, you shall surely be put to death. Right? Those are not my words. Those are the words of the Most High God. Right? right? Yeah. Because this place has to go. America has to go. Promotes nothing but sin. Right. Don't treat, don't teach our people nothing in the oh, churches. Man. Right? You you go in the church and you come out worse. You come out worse than when you went into the church. Let me ask you ladies a question. How many commandments are there in the Bible? Ten. Ten? Right? What color are, what color are you? What's your nationality? Right? The Bible said black. Right? So our forefather Moses did this. 
Our forefather Moses, he went up to the Mount Sinai for 40 days, 40 nights, only the Ten Commandments. <laughs> all day, all night. Oh, man. So what you teach him? Four times over? Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ten Commandments? Oh, man. How many commandments in the Bible? Ten Commandments? Moses was there 40 days. I can teach my three-year-old Ten Commandments in a half a day. That's why the Christian church teaches nothing. These people are destroyed, right? The Christian church teaches you nothing but lies and white supremacy. White supremacy, yes, I said it, white supremacy, right? First, they give you a white boy as the image of the church. When Christ is the dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah. Give me Revelation 5 and 5, Bible Shot. What's your name? Read that. This is the book of Sir, right? Chapter 15, and verse 13. Bring it The Lord had of all abomination. What the Lord say? The Lord had of all abomination. It is an abomination for a man to be with a man. And the Lord hates it. He hates it. Right? No, the Lord don't hate, brother. The Lord don't hate. Drop that. Give me Ecclesiastes 3. Start with 1, then drop down to verse 8. Read that again, King. It's the book of Isaiah, right? Chapter 15, and verse 13. The Lord had of all abominations, and they that fear God love it not. Love it not. We fear God. Uh. We hate abomination. We have to tell our brethren what they ain't sin. Right? That's Leviticus 19 and 17. Right? That's 1 Timothy 5 and 20. Right? We beat them openly. Right? Uh. We have to tell our people they're going off there. Right? Read that again one more time, King. Salaki. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 15, and verse 13. The Lord had of all abomination. Right? And they that fear God love it not. They that fear God love it not. Right? Give me, uh, give me Psalms 120 and Psalms 19 and 120, Bob the Shell. Right? Read that. The Lord hates all abomination. And yes, homosexuality is abomination. We're going to rebuke this whole month. We're going to rebuke every day of this month because they gave y'all 30 days of pride. And the Lord said, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. A haughty spirit. The Lord made y'all haughty. Now you're haughty and proud and don't own nothing. Don't own nothing. And Jay, a different pride. pride. Right? There's pride and they're being proud. Jake Brown to have a car note. Right. Jake Brown have a mortgage. Right. And pay rent. Right? We're proud and we don't own nothing. Right. Because this is not our rest. Why would you want little old Raleigh, North Carolina to be your rest? When the Lord said the Lord will make the world was made for our sake. We waiting on the kingdom. It's not our rest. The place is polluted. That's right. Right? Kim Trails. All in the air, you can't breathe. GMOs all in the water, uh, food, you can't eat it. Fluoride all in the water, you can't drink that, nope. right? Then they give you this. You damn near got a war with your eyes closed. I was in the mall today. I was in Crabtree Valley Mall. Right. It's about 15 minutes from here, right. right? It's wicked. If you haven't been to, if you ever think about backsliding in Israel, go to your local mall. And then leave that and go to Walmart. I guarantee you will repent ASAP. These places are wicked, brother. Right? Hey, brother, you believe in the words of God? I need one scripture, brother. One scripture. One scripture, brother. Do one in 76. That's a wife. That's a wife. Do one in 76. Do one in 76. Read that. I'm going to show you what the Lord said about you, brother. Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Because the Bible is a history book. Right? It's not a it's not it's not a religious book, brother. They took this Bible and made a religion out of it. You know what the Bible stands for? Biblical intervention before losing everything. What is everything? The kingdom of heaven. Listen to this, brother. Listen to this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For if thou art an holy people. You know what holy means, brother? Separate. You are separate people, right? Whoever these people are, the Lord said they're separate, right? Unto the Lord thy God. Right. 
the Lord thy God have chosen thee. He did what? Have chosen thee. Read. To be a special people. And we just ordinary. To be a special people. And we just simple. To be a special people. The Lord said he's special, brother. Right? Read. Unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. Read. Above all people. What? Above all people. That what? That upon the face of the earth. That upon the face of the earth, brother. Right? So you are holy people. That's your wife. Now she's unholy. That's right. Right? That's right. I'm, I'm just throwing a spade a spade, but I didn't say nothing else. Because you didn't even know, know what holy meant. That's right. If I would have said she was unholy and you're not telling you what holy meant, right. right? You probably would have thought, you know, a slipper fell off or something. Right? right? Then unholy. I'm going to show you why she's unholy, brother. Right? Give me Obadiah. Oh, yeah. Obadiah 15. Give me Melita 101. Right? Melita 101. We coming back prior month. And I'm going to get a couple more pants to the next mighty speaker. We coming back prior month. I'm just going to derail to this preset right fast. Right? I'm going to say derail to this preset right fast. Bring it out. Read that kid. Melita 101. Bring it out. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Right. I have loved you, says the Lord. Right. Yet he say, Where, where wherein hast thou loved us? Right. The Lord said he loved us. What is this, man? What? Hey, sister, you gotta separate from your oppressor and love your own people. Is it that hard to love your own people? You got twelve tribes to choose from, sister. You don't like a legal man. <laughs> Get your, get your, uh, a bitch mic, brother. What's going on, kings? Y'all be safe, man. Right? Get your chain. And that's the worst word. He only with him for that check. I guarantee you. He's only with her because she got six figures in the bank. Right? That's the only reason he's with her. Right? Wait. I have loved you, says the Lord. What? Yet he say, but he has no love us. Right. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Right. Esau and Jacob, that's brothers. Genesis the 25th chapter, right? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, yeah, right. I love Jacob. I love Jacob, but I hated Esau. Right. And made his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness. All praise. Hey, you see yourself in the same brother? All right? You believe in God, brother? You look like God has blessed you tremendously. You dripping in the gold, brother. Why right? you dripping in the gold? Because you're an Israelite. Why right? somebody give me uh, wisdom and Solomon? I mean, Son of Solomon. So you see a mess of all here, On the right hand side, brother, that's what America's going to call you. Right? On the left hand side, this is what the Bible calls you. This is what your God calls you. These are your brothers, right? You'll be a so called Mexican. So called Mexican. So, brother, you'll be an Israelite. From the tribe of Issachar. This is what this is what the Green Gold gave us. Right? The Green Gold said you were Mexican. When Cortez and Fernandez came to conquer their land, right? And they raped, robbed, and murdered your ancestors, the ancient Mayans and the ancient Incas and the ancient Aztecs. That's your forefather, brother. You know y'all been over here on this land, right? Somebody drop there. Give me second address, right? The thirteenth chapter, the forty first. Let me show you how your forefathers get here. And what I tell you to do? Get a green card. This whole land is y'all. The Lord gave the Lord gave this whole land to the so-called Incas, the Aztecs, and the ancient Mayans. They'll be from Panama to Guatemala, uh, Guatemala by Colombians, the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, the Mexicans. What happened if someone mistake you for a Puerto Rican? What you do? But those are your brothers then, right? From the tribe of Ephraim. Right? Now, Ephraim is the head of the northern kingdom. You'll be from the northern kingdom. Your forefather is a cop. That's a real man. Right? That's a real person. Right? Because your, your nationality does not determine by the land mass that you were born in. Right? Let's, let me ask you this. Let's just say you and your wife, right? She conceived you in America. And you got your wife pregnant. Right? Six months later, y'all moved to China. Right? And your wife, she has her baby in China. Would that make your baby Chinese? Would your baby Chinese? Right? No. 
So your land, your land man did not determine your nationality. You come of a seed line of men. Your father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, King Jacob, had his return. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had his return. But the white man called you a mess of him. You can't find that term in the Bible. Just like you can't find Caucasian or white men. They will be the Edomites. The Edomites, brother. Right? They'll be the Edomites. Right? Get that. Let's do this, brother. I ain't gonna hold you too long. Right? I'm gonna show you how your forefathers got over to this nation, man. Right? And then how they lied and perpetuated a lie. And now you gotta get a green card coming from Central South America. You wanna take a trip to Mexico, you gotta get a green card or a passport. You know what I'm saying? You got it? Read that, Ken. Second Exodus 13, verse 43. That they might. I was about to check you on that, man. I didn't want to be disrespectful. Verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out their own land. So these are the twelve tribes. After the Syrian captivity, we couldn't keep the commandments because you were amongst the heathens, right? So the Lord opened up a pass and we had to get the hell up out of there. And y'all gonna come to this land where no mankind ever dwelt before. And this is what Second Ezra is explaining. This is in the apocryphal. It's explaining how your forefathers, the so-called Mexicans, the so-called Colombians, the so-called Cubans, right, got to this side of the land. The Native Americans, the Seminole Indians, right, got to this side of, uh, of America, I mean, to this side of the world. In the town of Osel, the king, who Solomon Nazar, the king of Assyria, lived away captive. He carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land, right? But they took this council among themselves, right? That they will leave the one to the Hebrew. Your forefathers said, hey, we gotta get the hell up out of here. These people are wicked as hell. We gotta get up out of here, right? And they consulted with the Lord. Because y'all guys got an Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So y'all consulted with yourself and y'all consulted with the Lord. This is what the Lord did. Wait. But they took counsels among themselves that they would leave the men to the heathen and go forth and took it from the country. Where it never mind mankind dwelt. Mankind never dwelt. Because this is the fourth part of the earth right here. Right? No one was on this land before your ancestors got here. Right? Wait. That they might dare keep their statutes. Which they never kept their own list. Right? Because that's we why we were exiled out of Jerusalem. Out of Israel. Because we didn't the commandments. We want to eat chicken rolls. We want to eat pastor. Right? We want to break the Lord's Sabbath day. Right? The Lord kicked us out of our land. And your forefathers came here. Right? In 719 BC. Wait. And they entered into the. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow pass. Right? Of the river. Toward the most high. They show signs from them and held still the flow till they were passed over. So your guys show signs and say, I'm going to get my people out of here. I'm going to take them to a land where never mankind dwelt. And my people going to keep the commandments in that land. That's why your forefathers sing songs like, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Right? When they eat, the Indians, man. Right? And the ancient Aztecs and the Mayans. Right? That's why you got those pyramids in Machu Picchu, right? I think I'm saying that right? Money, 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 pension, like the, right, right. They got the pyramids. Who do you think built the pyramids in Egypt? The Israelites, your forefathers. How you think they got the pyramids in uh, Mexico, right? Hold on, got a little bit more. But through, but through that country, there was a great way to go, right? A great way to go, namely of a year and a half. Because they learn when you circumvent the earth, it takes three years. So if you're going halfway around the earth, how long does it take? A year and a half, read that again. But through that country, there was a great way to go. Namely, of a year and a half. A year and a half. And the same region was called Nazareth. Osiris. Right? It wasn't America, it was Osiris. Right? Read. Osiris. They thought they bear into the latter times. And now when they shall begin to smoke, the highest shall stay the springs of the stream of hand. So y'all came to this land was called Austria. It wasn't even America. America was named by so-called French map maker. His name was Mirabo Vespucci. He covered this land. He mapped the different land parts of this land. And they, give me uh, Psalms 49 and 11. I'm going to show you what happened. 
a guy named Melly the Best Peachy, right? He conquered America and he named the lands after their own name. That's what they do. That's why they call so-called Muslims, right? That's how you get so-called Raleigh, right? It's named after a man named So Wants a Raleigh, right? All right, King. All right, well, you'll be an Israelite. But what time, though? Time to what? Here's a car. Here's a car, brother. All praise. All praise. Where's the end now, man? Baby, you know you got yours. All right. We're going to have a vacation, brother. It says, the lost, this is from Google. The lost lunatic inscription is an is in abridged version of the Decalogue or the Ten Commandments carved into the flat face of a large boulder resting on the side of, of Hidden Mountain near Los Lunas, New Mexico. Well, there are sculptures and mountains that we carved up. Where they get that technique from? They got it from the ancient land of uh, Egypt, man. And we were slaves in Egypt. Right? Right, right. So we are the people. We didn't let you so called blasted Spanish and Native Americans know that you are the chosen people of the book. Right? And we must repent and turn back to the Lord while He's still going to be found. Give me uh, Isaiah 30, 36 and 14, uh, Baba Kasha. Isaiah 36 and 14. And give me. Uh, give me. Uh, no, you give me Deuteronomy 12 and 30, Baba Kasha. The book of Isaiah, chapter 36, and verse 14. Right. Thus saith the king, let not Hezekiah deceive you. 36 and 14. Is it 14? Yeah. 34 and 16. 34 and 16. 34 and 16. 34 and 16. And y'all believe in the word? Y'all believe in God's words? Y'all got a minute for God's words? All praise. Y'all be safe tonight. Do that. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Do what? And read. That's what we encourage our brothers and sisters to do. Don't take our word for it, right? Seek ye out of the book and read for yourself. That's what we don't do as a people. We don't read. You rather watch the movie, right? You rather listen to it on our uh, audio uh, book. Our people hate to read. Our people don't even read the instructions. They rather call the operator up, right? They call with instructions. They pull the instructions out. They sit the instructions beside, and they call the one eight hundred number on the box. And, and it rings. And they turn and say, "I'm trying to put this together. Can you help me?" I'm probably gonna say, "Read the manual, right?" I, I, you can't make this up. There was a story about an Eve, right? She had an expensive car. She went to the she went to the store and the car was low on oil, right? She got a manual to her car to see what type of oil she had to put in her vehicle. But she don't read the manual. She goes into the store, buys some transmission fluid. <laughs> you can't make this up. She said oil come in a plastic can and the same size as the oil. She buy transmission, she not even reading the damn. Our people don't even read what we buy. He buy transmission fluid. Go to her car, right? Get the phone and put it inside the oil dip. And pour the transmission because she didn't read. Our people didn't read. But what the Lord said? I was saying that It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Uh -huh. No one of these shall fail. Right. This will never fail you. Reading is what? Fundamental. You learned that in third grade, right? So a lot of our people are not fundamental, right? A lot of our people are not fundamental because reading is fundamental, right? No right? So one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Right? For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. I can hear that. Right? So none of them will fail, man. Seeking out the book of our book. This is a history book. This is not a religious book. Right? They gave you religion, and now it ain't that. Now Jesus, now you can sin, right? Give me that, what's that precept? Uh, damn, I just had it. Give me uh, Psalms 53, Bible the Shop. Give me Psalms 53 for the top. Right? Because since Christ died, we feel like we can sin ripply. Right? Give me Hebrews in my lap. Give me Hebrews 726. Right? 
this, this, this is the mindset of Christianity, right? Christianity says, Jesus died for your sins, right? Now I can be wicked as hell for the rest of my life. That's what Christianity teaches our people, right? When the Lord died for your sins and gave you grace, now we're on that grace period, right? Now we're on a grace period, right? What's a grace period? Right? A grace period is a, dur a duration of time. The Lord gave us a duration of time to get right and turn back to the Lord in the right? Anyway. And do you feel like recovery? The book of Psalms chapter 53 and verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. My cousin. Corrupt are they and say, and have done abomination, iniquity, exactly. and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that does good. God looks down from heaven. There's none that what? There's none that do good. There's none that do good. And the reason I brought that out is because you said iniquity, right? And I'm gonna show you what iniquity is, right? Give me, uh, give me, uh, 38 and, and 18. Give me Psalms 38 and 18, back at the show. Psalms 38 and 18, back at the show. Right? Look at this song. Read that, man. He be between the point. 26. But if we sin with you, after that we have received the knowledge of truth. If we do what? After we have received the knowledge of truth. So if you sin willfully, can I teach our ladies one commandment? One commandment. Y'all love God. Y'all be safe. Like there's a lot of weirdos out here. Y'all y'all look out for one another, sisters. Right? So you can say it to me, man. You know their mind is their mind. The, the mind of an 18 to 25 year old in Babylon and Great is everywhere. Right? It's all over the place. They they got a lot to overcome in these young dudes. See, we 80 babies. We 80s and 70s babies up here. Several ladies, right? But these, but these millenniums or zillenniums, whatever they call these children, is born in the 2000s. Hey, they got it. They got it bad. We know you know, even the women have turned for the natural use of a woman, right? Even the women, right? You cannot make this up, man. Right? Right? It's the book is Psalm, chapter 38, the verse 18. For I will declare my iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. I will declare my iniquity because you sin with me. After coming to the knowledge of sin, right? There remains no more sacrifice for sin, right? You see how that little small pop had everybody turn their head? And when the Lord said that, the, the big pop. Watch it, watch it, brother, because she ain't doing trying to move right away. Right? Can we allow it for our people? And y'all can walk through. Come on now. We're going to stop the kings. Right? And, and these guys. These guys, right? <laughs> so with that, man, I'm going to give God praise on and glory to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah. Tell me the so-called blast of Spanish in the name of America. You must repent. Come out of America, tell them how they can raise, right? As it will be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, right? And with that, I say shalom.